and, 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 and these haters cannot see me though. Uh. They can try to crack me, can't crack me like the Da Vinci Code. is Quest Field in Seattle, Washington. A beautiful day in the Emerald City. And welcome to this exhibition clash between the Seahawks and the Dolphins. The Dolphins playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, let's go down to the field. We are ready for football. Carpenter. Get set to kick it away. And takes off from his own goal line. At the 30. At the 40. At the 50. And he's finally stopped at the 43-yard line. That brings out the 14-year man out of Boston College, quarterback Matt Hasselbeck. The offense will take over at the 43-yard line. First down and 10. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Hit and drop behind the line. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 49. Blue tick. Blue tick. Here comes the heat. Here's a pass over the middle. This is an offense that has rediscovered its running game and it's paid dividends. Marshawn Lynch from Cal has found himself and this offense has found itself a premier back. Now, so many times with guys, it's about finding the right system. Marshawn Lynch always had the talent, but now he's in a system that allows him to really excel. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Good coverage downfield. And they get to him. This team that historically is one that prides itself on its defense, and this group is starting to come into its own. They're building the current unit around Carlos Dansby from Auburn. Now, with the signing of Carlos Dansby, they made a clear commitment to improving the defense, and you can see why they like him so much. He's an absolute force who has a penchant for creating turnovers as well. Inside handoff. They didn't get it. Turnover on downs. And from the University of Michigan onto the field steps the fourth-year quarterback, Chad Henning, who struggled last season with 19 interceptions and only 15 touchdowns.
They'll start this drive at the 44-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Brown on the run. Aaron Curry was there to bring him down. Offensively, this is a unit with big play weapons. It's just been a matter of getting the ball to them consistently. Wide out Brandon Marshall from UCF has all the skills to be one of the great receivers of his time. Yeah, he really does, Gus. Size, speed, great hands. It's just a matter of overcoming some of the off-the-field distractions that seem to follow him. Between the lines, no question, there are a few better. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And the tackle was made by Kelly Jennings. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts, and he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away, and he is working them over. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Brown gets the ball. Earl Thomas was there for the stop. Time to take a look at the defensive starters, a group that prides itself on being fast and athletic. And linebacker Lofa Tutupu from USC is the personification of that overall athleticism. Now yeah, you're right, Gus. Lofa Tutupu is not the biggest guy to play linebacker, but he's so quick off the snap and covers so much ground in the passing game that he kind of embodies Ball a new start. style of linebacker, quick and Repeat. athletic. Long is guilty of moving early. And they line the ball up at the 26. Henny gives it up the middle. He's dropped down around the 23-yard line by Hawthorne. Now they'll face a third and six situation. The pigskin is on the 23-yard line. Running out of time. Wow, he looked like a cyclone down there getting to the quarterback. It is impressive when a guy that big is that nimble on his feet. He makes it look so easy, and it seems like he's past the offensive lineman as soon as the ball snapped. Tough to stop. I'm just amazed he kept his balance. Yeah, you know what's so incredible? He's running full speed and still has the agility to spin around the lineman, gather himself, and get to the quarterback. Just great athleticism. And the kick is good. Dan Carpenter knocks it through and gives them a three-point lead. Carpenter gets ready to kick it away. Forsett stands back to field the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. Rashad Jones was there to bring him down. This offense couldn't get anything going on their previous drive. They'll get the ball here at the 19. It's first and 10. He needs to get rid of it. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. From their own 19-yard line. He's looking down the middle. Throws. 
as a quarterback, you have to go through your reads. That was his first look on that play, and he shouldn't have stayed with it that long. That was a bad decision. Third down and 10 coming up here. Throws it deep, left side. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Well, and there is some cumulative effect of those three and out series because they do tend to wear out your defense, which has to come right back out on the field now. Fourth down. The Seahawks ready to punt this one away. Number 15 fields the ball at the 30. He takes it back to the 43. Walter Thurman the third was there for the stop. They'll start at the 43-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Brown takes a handoff. from their own 43-yard line. We've played a quarter. The score is three to nothing. Welcome back to Seattle. And the snap goes right to the back. Marcus Trufant was there to bring him down. Williams carries it for the first time today. First down and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's wrestled down around the 41-yard line by Clemens. They line it up at the 41. Brown on the draw. And he'll lose yardage on the play. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. They're looking at third and nine. Ball on the 43. The snap. Here comes the pressure. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play. Huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. They'll take over at the 20. First down, 10 to go. Here's the give. Channing Crowder was there for the stop. You know, Marshawn Lynch may have had a few skeptics when he first came in the league, but 
Anytime you get on this team, you know you're going to have to prove how tough you are. And he always seems to do it with a little smile on his face. He's having fun playing the game of football. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Has a seam down the middle. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. The intended target on the play. From their own 33-yard line. Lynch will run it again. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. Throws it to the middle. He catches it and is tackled immediately. They complete a long pass play. After a big play like that, it's really important for the offense to get in the huddle and get out, keep this attack going. Right now, they have the defense on their heels. It's first and 10. Looks right, throws. It's almost picked off. Williams was the intended receiver on the play. Second down and seven yards to go. Searching for an open man. He goes down. Sack. So on another third down attempt for the offense, third and long. Coming up. Looking, fires it to the left. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. It's fourth down. The Seahawks lining up to punt. Back to punt. It's a fake. He's looking to pass. He makes it out to the 40-yard line. Culver was there to bring him down. The offense will start at the 40. And we'll have a first down and 10. Has a man deep. They'll face second down and 10. The ball is on their own 40. Let's go. Grab 38. Grab 38. Takes the snap. Here they come.
So the sack brings up this third and very long situation. Give to the tailback. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line by Hawthorne. And we've come to halftime here. The score is 3 to nothing. Welcome back to Seattle. We'll have to see how both teams respond as the second half kickoff is just seconds away. And takes off from his own goal line. He makes it back to the 25. Golden Tate was there for the stop. First down and 10. Ball on their own 25. Here's the give. He's brought down around the 29-yard line by Mebane. Second and seven situation here. Henny hands it off straight ahead. And that run gets them the first down. Nice job. First down, 10 to go. Henny hands it left. Brought down behind the line. And typically you can tell if a counter is going to work or not based on whether those offensive linemen are able to turn the corner and start going up the field. If the penetration hits those guys in the backfield, very seldom will the counter work. Now they've got a second and 13 coming up. They'll give it off here. He's tackled around the 35-yard line by Hawthorne. Now third down and 11. They're going deep. And they can't convert on third and long, so we'll likely see the punting unit here. Fourth down. The Dolphins are lining up to punt this one away. Washington will take it at the 21. 
Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. He's searching for a receiver. Passes out to the left. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. They tackle him for a loss. The Seahawks continue to get beat off the ball. Their linemen look tired. They're physically outmatched. And it's beginning to take a toll on these runners. I'm not sure how many more times they want to carry the ball. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 23. Still looking for an open man. Throws the deep pass. Finds room along the sideline. Vontae Davis was there to bring him down. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. First and ten once again after the big game through the air. Short throw to the left. The pass falls incomplete. Second down now following the incomplete pass. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Goes through his progression. He's looking towards the left side. He drops the easy pick. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. They'll line up again on third down. He's going to his right. Throws. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. And the kicker is on to try this one from 35 yards out. It's up and it's good. And with that, the score is the Seahawks. Three, the Dolphins. Three. Seattle takes the field, and it appears they'll try an onside kick. Short kick. Didn't get much leg into that one. The Dolphins will grab the onside kick. There's just no way I'm going to agree with that call. You've got to kick the ball deep there. Rely on your defense at least a little bit. Now your defense is in a position where they have no room for error at all. They line up at the 46. In heavy traffic. And that will be number four for the game. Really impressive performance so far by this defense. And I thought coming in, they had a good chance to get pressure. I'm not sure I even anticipated this kind of pressure, though.
So the sack on first down brings up second and long. He's looking over the top. It's a pick. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. It's first and ten. Williams takes the give. Surges forward to the 47. Will Allen was there for the stop. Great game so far. After three quarters, it's all tied up. Welcome back to Seattle. The Seahawks have possession of the ball and are looking to get at least three points on the drive to break the tie. Looking for a man. Has a man out to his right. It's broken up by the defender. Stokely was his intended target. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Hasselbeck with the pitch. He's dropped for a loss. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Looks like they'll opt to go for it here. Surveys the field. And they can't make a play on fourth down. I'm not sure what was going through his mind when he decided to keep the offense out there that time. Not a good time in the game to turn it over on downs. They'll set up shop at the 44-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Pass is short right side. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. They line up at the 44. yardage on the play so many times it's up to that backside blocker to get his guy on the ground and it sounds ugly but typically those guys are chopping at their knees and trying to knock them off their feet so there's some cutback lanes third down now 10 yards for the first Here's the pass. Deep ball to the right side. 
Brandon Marshall is just so physically skilled. When I watch him play, I tend to think of a young Terrell Owens, a guy that has an unlimited potential. He just has to make sure he stays focused on what he's doing on the football field. And the point after is good. Miami up seven points. Carpenter gets ready to kick it away. Forsett is back to receive the kick. It's fielded at the two. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Alma Francis was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 22-yard line. First down and 10. Searching for an open man. Let's it go deep. It's almost picked off. That incompletion will bring up second down. Second down and seven yards to go. He is wanting to go deep with it. And the tackle was made by Jeremiah Bell. They complete a long pass play. After a big play like that, it's really important for the offense to get in the huddle and get out, keep this attack going. Right now they have the defense on their heels. Good gain through the air will set them up with another first down and 10. Good coverage downfield. Deep pass. Enzo. Williams has it. But wait, they'll have to discuss this. And the call is a touchdown. And this for the tie. And he adds the point after. Just under three minutes to go in the game, and we've got a good one. It's all tied up at 10. Olindo Mare looks ready to kick it away. Cobbs stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the six. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Cam Chancellor was there for the stop. First down, 10 to go. It goes straight to the back. Lawyer Malloy was there to bring him down. Five-yard pickup. Second down and five to go. Finds a hole up the middle. The stop was made by Earl Thomas. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. And with that, we have reached the two-minute warning. We will be back after this break from your local stations. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Two minutes left in the ball game. Throws it to the middle. And the tackle was made by Cam Chancellor. Number 15, grab that one for a gain of two. Flips it out short to his left. And the pass is incomplete. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. Offense looking at third down, seven yards to go. On their own, let's say 43. And looks left, throws, it's picked off. The stop was made by Brandon Marshall. So they give up the big interception. Now they have to buckle down on defense and stop them from scoring. Whoa, this game feels a little differently now, doesn't it? All of a sudden, the momentum has completely shifted to the other side of the ball. Let's see what they can do with it now. It's first and 10. They give it off here. He doesn't get back to the line. The defense once again bottles him up for a loss, and they've had his number. It's second and very long. Ball on their own 36. He breaks through. There he goes. Pretty impressive stuff. As a back, you have to just keep slamming it in there, believing that hole's going to be there eventually. That time it was, and he took advantage. And we'll have a first down and 10. On their own, 37. Deep throw. End zone. And he drops the short pick. Number 11, the intended target on the play. So they'll face a second and 10. The pigskin is on the 37-yard line. He's searching for a receiver. Tip pass, and it's incomplete. Number 87 was the intended receiver on the play. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Still looking for an open man. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick, they fake it. Steps up in the pocket to get away from a defender. And the tackle was made by Jared Odrick. They'll start at the 31. First down and 10. Let's go. 
Throws middle of the field. Caught and dropped immediately. Three-yard gain on the throw. Well, that's really a nice tackle on that play. Anytime you get man coverage on the outside against a receiver, you have to be able to make that one-on-one -on -one play, and he did it great. Goes through his progression. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. First down, 10 to go. Has a man open in the middle. Earl Thomas was there for the stop. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection. And anytime that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. It's the tailback. They tackle him for a loss. The Dolphins will take their final timeout. So it's going to come down to the kicking game. This is to give them the lead. He splits the uprights. He really came through on the long distance attempt. You don't make a kick like that without a perfect hold and a perfect snap. But let's give this kicker some credit. That was an extraordinary effort. Carpenter will be kicking off. Forsett is deep, looking to return the kickoff. They'll try a squib kick. Number 88 fields it at the 29. That's going to wrap up the action. Highlights are straight ahead. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.